Hello. Hello. We are Joanna, Nadia, Teddy, Nadia, Christo, and Ivan. And today we're going to talk about volunteering. Who has volunteered in here? I think most of us or everybody. All of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, let's start from Joanna so we can go. Into well, I've been volunteering for the for one B project here in school with our teacher and I think that it helped me um, realize how important nature is mm -hmm. uh, just because I volunteer in the same project with her uh, I do think it's really important we that we volunteer because not only do we help someone or something but we do learn something really important from it uh, did you learn something from the bees, yo? Mm, I don't think I can learn something from the bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. About the bees, About maybe. the bees, maybe, or... Yeah, I learned a lot of uh, a lot for their bodies and what they produce and how we can it use it or... Works. Yeah, hmm? that's nice. Well, I have volunteered in the same project. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I have also volunteered um, as a, I don't know how to say it. Basically, I helped my parents for organizing an English camp for students. Uh, also, I have babysit if this counts as volunteering. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I babysit. Nice. I babysit yeah. every day, so <laughs> I think <Yeah>. everyone. <laughs> Um, I've uh, volunteered, uh, as, uh, as I said, with the beekeeping project and also uh, I became an ambassador of a company called SoundCloud that uh, gives 10% of the profit that they sell. They sell uh, different types of uh, clothing and also beach products and they give 10% for preserving the marines. Good, that's very interesting. What about you, Nadia? <clears throat> well, I haven't really volunteered. Uh, you all remember last year when we went to that home for other people? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that counts as volunteering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I've done. Oh, I forgot that. about. Yeah, we mm -hmm. went to them and we talked with them. We brought them some cookies mm -hmm. and stuff, and it was really nice. So yeah. home baked goods. Yeah. <laughs> home baked goods. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what okay. about you? I have also volunteered for uh, the beat project, but I think the uh, m more uh, one of the more important things I have volunteered about is uh, I have uh, performed uh, a theater uh, in front of a Syrian uh, refugee <coughs> camp, um, and that's it, I think. And you? I've done a couple of volunteering. The first one is, uh, of course, uh, the bee project, which we all organized and participated in. And as one of the persons that organized the project, I'm really glad that we have this uh, positive feedback uh, from, from the students, from you especially. And I find it very, very useful for all of us to, in order to understand how, uh, how much the bees are important to us and uh, that we can engage in different types of activities in order to understand those species. In the, in the other project that I have been volunteering for four years now, it's called Village on Rent, or in Bulgarian, Selo na Zaim. And it's basically one of the best things that have happened in my lifetime uh, till that moment, because uh, since I was a small kid, I didn't uh, like to go to villages. I preferred staying in, uh, in, in the city and playing with the, ch with the children in the neighborhood. And when I graduated and become a teacher, I actually, uh, a friend of mine called me and said to me that uh, there is this, uh, that project about the villages and I participated in and they uh, approved me. And I went in a village which was far, far away from uh, the capital, which uh, on the coast of uh, the river Danube. I mm -hmm. think it's still called that way in English. And uh, since I got there, I had the opportunity to communicate with many old people and help them and create relationships with them. And it was really magical to see how much how, how it is very, uh, it was, let's say, spectacular to see mm -hmm. how 
the communication with older people actually refreshes them and brings yeah. them like new new joy. life new it brings them joy and they are really relieved from uh, the on one hand the loneliness and actually when you help them you actually are learning mm-hmm. and that's one of the things that I would like to talk about uh, in about volunteering is the learning process mm-hmm. when you are volunteering because when you go there and you uh, see new things with new people and you actually learn if you want mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. and I find it very positive especially from that project I learned that uh, I, I learned that I have to learn many other things in order to expand my even consciousness and set of skills. And for four years now, I'm in that project. And this year, the project was very excellent, very good. We I've met with extraordinary people and we became friends. And after the project ended, uh, we actually did many things together and we are going to do it furthermore. Mm. And it's coming soon, but... It's a secret, so <laughs> okay. I won't say anything. You won't we won't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's it for, for now. That's great. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember this uh, recycling project we did? Oh yeah. yeah. In school, yeah. Yeah, it was very good from our side to um, understand how important it is uh, to select the the trash from one another, mm-hmm. and in that way we can help a little bit more to our planet. Not only stop yourself from, or at least... Uh, not saying that you can't, you can yeah, then, yeah, not only to stop the use of plastic or at least reduce it, mm. but to mm. make yourself conscious in a little bit, to put yourself in the state of mind of knowing what you're doing to <coughs> nature. Mm. When you use this plastic, when you drink from that bottle or from a glass bottle, mm. and how even the small things change and make an impact. Mm-hmm. Yep. And mm-hmm. Also, do you remember our math teacher? This mm-hmm. summer, I think, he went in Kenya. Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kenya. Yeah, Kenya. Kenya. He went yeah. In, yeah, he, yeah mm-hmm. And he volunteered. Does some uh, someone want to say a little bit? Well, um, mm-hmm. from the interview, I understood that he went there for the whole summer. Uh, right after oh, we yeah. graduated, uh, he went there. Literally the next day, he hopped on the plane, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, he taught every day from sunrise to sun set. Sun sunset, yeah, and more mm-hmm. and more, yeah. even more, even at the night. Um, he he was he was so surprised by by their uh, life yeah. and mm-hmm. their routine, daily routine. Um, and he, he was even, uh, he uh, now teaches, when he teaches and we start talking in class, mm-hmm. he starts uh, telling us, yeah, do he, you know... He gets so excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's actually really happy, but yeah. also you can see kind of sad, because yeah. it's not that quite of a blossoming mm-hmm. world over there. Yeah. But also when we start talking uh, just in general, uh, or don't listen to what he say, ha- says, and he starts saying, do you know what it is like to teach... 35 or 36 mm. kids and they all sit there in silence mm. all listen to you all adore you but don't say anything unless i ask them to and then we're over here sitting and talking and <laughs> laughing so we, we kind of start to think about that too and just like we're learning from our own experience mm. when we volunteer uh from daco we learn from his volunteering experience mm. yeah. and we we actually get quiet because not only we feel bad <laughs> but <laughs> also it's kind of we learn something yeah we right? learn we learn a lot of mm. things every day and well, i'm really g- glad that he will go again <clears throat> again yeah yeah i think on the when the winter vacation mm-hmm. starts yeah. he's yeah. Actually he'll go there again. he'll mm-hmm. go well, that changes you, know, you as a as a as a person. Mm, yeah, totally. You know what people say. Uh, you don't know what it's like till it comes to your head. So mm. we really don't know what it's like mm. to be them, and they really don't know what it's like to be us. Mm-hmm. So true. Yeah. Yeah. That's, there. That's why it's important to meet different types of yeah, people. Yeah. Communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And volunteering is a perfect opportunity mm-hmm. for that uh, for that to be to be done. I. Was, oh, sorry. Sorry. Mm. I still remember uh, when I was a little child because I've been uh, part of this uh, national traditional dancing team since I was uh, four years old. 
and uh, every year uh, we used to go to this elderly people home and so uh, we we just danced there it was just for an hour it wasn't that big of a deal we just uh, did three or four dances but i still remember how happy these people mm. were some of them were in a really bad condition i mean uh from a health health wise mm-hmm. but yet still you, you saw them smile just because yeah. these little children come and start Jeez. dancing <coughs> and start dancing the dances you've danced when you were a little mm-hmm. child because this is a big gift for them yeah Okay, um, and I I'm actually I I can't push this image out of my head. It's mm. it's really you just can't can remember their faces. Absolutely, and, yeah. yeah. And I was so little, like I was four, or five, and six, you still seven. Remember them, yeah. And I still remember them, which was really good. I think these are one of the benefits of volunteering. You meet new people, you help them, yeah. they help you in some yeah. kind of way, you learn something, yeah. you... They learn something. Yeah. Yeah, you become more open-minded, to yeah. like, you give them a lot and they mm-hmm. give you a lot as a person. I've also come, came to realize that the volunteering is not all about organizations or mm-hmm. we are going today to elderly people's home or uh, orphans' uh, home. No, mm-hmm. you can be... Uh, it's cool and see um, maybe a teacher that needs help with uh, the the whole class to watch over them or something that's still volunteering you come and Mm -hmm. do you need help so you're going to help there or the younger uh, uh, students in the school yeah or when you're at camp when you go to summer camp or something Mm. like that you help the supervisors uh, with watching over the smaller children Mm, or with something with cooking or something like that that's still volunteering, even though it's not the big uh, organization <laughs> yeah. or something yeah. like that. But yet you still experience, learn something new, and have fun. And become better <laughs> in, in life and organ- in organizing yourself too. Mm-hmm. Especially, and one of the things that you've pointed that is very interesting to me, uh, because I didn't remember how did you say it, but I, had, I think there's a, some sort of a problem uh, with volunteering that some people that are engaged in different social projects, they, they see um, their involvement in that project like it's a tourism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that uh, position? Because I have seen some people that are engaging in different types of activities, but they, are not, uh, they do not get in, more involved when the project finishes. Yeah, it's what do you like think about that? they're untouchable. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, they're they're doing it for a certain cause. Or I've seen a lot of people that want to go in a good university. I'm just gi- I'm giving a really specific uh, example right now. But you want to go into this really good university, and you have to de- have these volunteering hours and, and yeah. th- this experience <laughs> and. You see these people go somewhere, do something, plant trees or something like yeah. that, and they end it the moment uh, the ends. volunteering organization stops doing it. They do it just for the credit. That's just what for you the say. credit, yeah. just to get into this certain university or just to have it on a piece of paper. I volunteer over yeah. there. That's. Uh, I'm sorry to say it, but that's stupid from uh, my point of view. Yeah, but I have experience. Uh, with other volunteers and uh, after, let's say, the uh, projects uh, they were involved uh, finishes, they I can see that they really enjoyed it and why, want to try it uh, mm-hmm. again and again and not just stop till there. Yeah, just that, like Vankata. Yeah. Just like... Uh, yeah, like Vankata continues doing and helping... With and, this I, and I really love doing it. I'm not mm-hmm. doing it. I'm not doing it for some credentials. Yeah. I, I just feel that I have to do it. I, I mean, I it's, enjoy yeah. doing it's your it. time that you yeah. give out to help something else. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You can just stay at home or ba- mm-hmm. sunbathe somewhere on a beach. Yeah, but no, watch TV. But yeah, mm-hmm. no, you, you choose to be happy with doing something good, not uh, mm-hmm. paying money and eating grapes on the beach. <laughs> yeah, you can be on the village, in the village, and do many interesting things. And eat which, grapes there. Yeah. Yeah. There, and actually they're gonna be tastier yeah, okay. <laughs> I can sure. guarantee that yeah the food actually when you go to the villages it's, you feel the difference mm. it's you can't like when you t- uh, grab the, the fruit or yeah. anything and you smell it you just feeling. know that it's yeah. 
real. Yeah, and it's real. very and it's, this yeah. is very simple. But when you really feel that, you yeah. you actually are um, you you value it much more mm -hmm. when you, when you touch the food in a in a small village somewhere out yeah. of town, not in the hypermarket, not supermarket. We really realize really how much work people have done For to just yeah. one yeah. tomato. Uh, volunteering is something that is meant to solve problems hmm. because. In my experience, when I went to that village, I saw that people have really problems with doing their basics, uh, like uh, the daily stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually going there and trying to solve the problem or mm -hmm. solve the problem or like to propose different ways to solve the, mm -hmm. that problem. Because one of the things that it's um, in my topic with villages is that villages are slowly dying down, mm, dying. Yeah. they're dying, I mean, they're, uh, yeah. many people are literally living there, dying. literally dying, yeah, <laughs> and that's why those people from those villages create those social projects and they search for mm. finance, uh, financing them in order to bring people from different places in order to see their problem, mm. and when mm. we went there, we actually, uh, we, we have many ideas, but we really think that we should be many more, there should be many more volunteers to be, uh, that should be involved in those projects in order to do something mm. you know, which will be more, um, like uh, more sustainable and it will solve some well, problems. That's and that's a very, very important issue. Just like uh, SoundCloud, the the site that I'm, I'm I, d I don't work for it. I don't be, uh, I don't get money for it. Um, uh, but yeah, I volunteer for it. Uh, they create different uh, events all around the world throughout us ambassadors and uh, they first teach ki children about marine preservation mm -hmm. and marine pollution in general they uh, throughout us ambassadors they make new events uh, come up with new games so they can uh, educate people and especially children uh, about uh, saving the marines uh, mm -hmm. marine pollution and uh, of course, buying their products so they can give profit, but also become a part of these organizations because they're not an organization that uh, directly cleans the oceans. No, they give that profit to other organizations and companies that go there, clean the oceans or save the mm -hmm. dolphins or something like that. So if if we give interest to more people they they start looking it's not it's not just like that oh okay well dolphins are dying okay uh i that's mean that's not okay at all yeah but <laughs> people, they're saying there like there are people that react like that and i don't care at all they don't care which actually makes me mad but if you if we start educating little children and us as teenagers uh if we start to get spreading the word uh, you're getting interested if we give them a solution become a part of this help us with this um, Recycle hands, yeah. or stop using uh, Plastic straws or something like that. It's uh, a really good thing and that's still volunteering Why have you ever thought about why is volunteering important to each one like we for you? Yeah. So for you, why is volunteering important? important? Yeah As a person who uh, has done, so but not time. but not a lot, just tell us uh, your point of view. Okay, for me, for example, um, I learn new things through other people, and I learn a lot about myself. Um, and I think that's pretty interesting that helping to other people also is helping to myself. Mm. Yeah, to finding yourself. Perhaps. Also, it, it, that's an interesting statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It builds your character. You you grow as yeah. a person. You this is one of uh, I think the best things uh, for me personally that through volunteering I can really see in which uh, things I am good and I can build and they will help me in my f future. Yeah, and yeah. I think that one of the points of volunteering is solving problems and today we see that there are many 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 social engagements mm. which tells us that we have made such a big mess in the world today yeah which we have to clean up yeah mm. let's sometimes, say it that way sometimes you don't even see the problems until someone comes up with we should do that <laughs> in order to fix that and you've never thought that 
mm. uh, there's this problem. Mm-hmm. And mm. uh, just like I, I live uh, in the ends of the city of Sofia, we're, and we're just like a, a little village. Uh, we even joke about that sometimes, but <laughs> we um, uh, recently, like what, last year, we started doing this uh, gathering every Sunday, uh, just like the old times, uh, dancing traditional dances. And uh, now, after one year, we see how many people come, how children are excited to come. We actually understand how torn apart our, not village, community. but our community over there was so torn apart. Everyone hated each other. I, I, it, it was black. It was gray. It was not good. And actually, uh, it's a really pretty uh, picture to picture. see it. I yeah. mean, uh, around okay. in our neighborhood, uh, we have uh, so many trees, we have uh, where to go in the woods, um, we, we can ride horses. It's just like a little village. Mm. And we, we never saw that, we never used that. And now after just one, one simple gathering every Sunday, now we're so much better. Now we see people talking to each other all everywhere. Daily, everywhere. 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 <laughs> yeah. And with that, you, you, when you start talking, you spread the word to something else. Yeah, so volunteering is like socializing yeah. with with many different people. And spreading the word. Yeah. So let's I wrap think it that, up. Yeah, let's wrap yeah. it up by saying what do you think? Should be uh, volunteering be a way of life? No, uh, definitely <laughs> yes. I mean I, I heard away, like away from life and not like no, it should be near life. <laughs> yeah. It should be definitely a part of everybody's life because mm-hmm. Um, everyday life, yeah. a part of our everyday we life. As Teddy said, they were torn. Their society, even in that neighborhood, was torn apart. And I think society in our nowadays, world yeah, is, is torn, torn apart. apart. So I think that everybody should help do. each other. Mm-hmm. Should help yeah. each other. Like Not be scared of the person next to you. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, they you're... sometimes they they might be scary. Yeah, but. <laughs> Just sometimes, try, try. sometimes you might learn something new. Just like if you sat in the the metro and start talking to a random person, it might be really creepy at first, but it's you fun. can you can get something really interested out of that person. Yeah, you can get a really old story from an, uh, a grandma or a really interesting story from a little mm-hmm. child. As but you get that yeah. you, it builds your character, and plus it makes you more open to the world. Volunteering does this, yeah. And yeah. it gets you more knowledgeable yeah, yeah, for yeah. certain uh, global issues, which and are very important. Absolutely open-minded. Okay. You need yeah. to be open-minded to volunteer. Well, I love okay. this conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah. nice. Thank mm-hmm. you. <laughs> thank you too. Okay, yeah, thank you guys. Well, thank you. And Can also, we say goodbye now? Yeah. yeah. Thank you to the listeners who enjoyed our, I think, how many minutes? Actually, in, in the end, we should say why we uh, why did we made oh. that uh, podcast? So we can okay. spread the it word, real, just yeah. like we and discussed. also because on fifth of December was the na- International Volunteer Day, so <laughs> that's a part yeah. of. The <laughs> we yeah. thought that it will be good if we did that. Yeah. We opened the subject about this little thing that actually changes lives. Yeah, mm. and might change the world too. Yeah. So volunteer, guys. Don't be scared. Yeah. <laughs> be open minded. Talk to random people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And do stuff. Bye. 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 <laughs>